Okay, welcome. So let's begin making this project. This is a 3D figure. I hope you like it. So first, well, materials are white paper, a ruler, black marker, could be Sharpie, could be any other marker, and a pencil. So first, we're going to make some measures using the, the ruler. <clears throat> so you're gonna make you're gonna measure here from this corner to this side from left to right mark on, on the top of the page in this position you're going to mark 11 centimeters make just a small mark a dot here 11 centimeters and mark 17 centimeters okay the same for the bottom part here right on the bottom mark should be straight go mark again 11 centimeters first make a dot and 17 centimeters make a dot okay so you have two marks here two marks here okay turn the page in this position and you are going to mark on the top first like it is eight centimeters and uh, 14 centimeters yes 14 I'm pretty sure now on the bottom the same mark first eight centimeters here and for uh, 14 centimeters here okay okay now you can use the you can use the the ruler um, and the black marker or if you want to you can use first the pencil and then remark it with the marker but I'm gonna use the marker at once so place your ruler like this zero centimeters here and try to align it yes align it here with the other dot so remember you have one dot here one dot here and here you're going to make a line from 11 to 17 like this 11 to 17 just make a line and here remember that you have another mark here and another mark here so align the ruler first from zero here should be zero align it to the dots and make another line from 11 to 17 like this okay <clears throat> now let's make the other lines because you need to make a square so line up here the ruler with this dot and with this dot and close the lines these two close them and this one too but should be aligned all right aligned from here to here so now you have a square a perfect center square okay okay now back to the pencil make the marks that I'm going to tell you all right so in this position from from right to left make a mark put the ruler right here and make a mark on one and a half centimeters one and a half centimeters make a dot and then one more centimeter is like where is two and a half make another mark and then another centimeter is like three and a half 
make another dot and one more centimeter it's like four and a half centimeters make a mark all right on the same do the same on the top just a small mark again it's like one and a half centimeters first then two and a half centimeters make another mark three and a half centimeters make another mark and four and a half centimeters make another mark all right okay <clears throat> turn it around and you're going to do the same but as you can see from here to here you have six centimeters so let's go back from six to five and a half and make a dot again from six to five and a half make a mark go back one more centimeter and that would be three and a half centimeters make a dot go back one centimeter and that would be two and a half go back one centimeter and that would be one and a half yes so it's kind of the same it's like one and a half here two and a half three and a half four and a half just like that okay all right so let's go back to the position and let's use the marker so here you're going to take the measure again from this dot to this dot or from this dot to this dot use the marker and you're going to make a line only for one and a half centimeters and align them dot to dot all right one and a half centimeters is from here to here yes clean your ruler so you don't stain it blow to don't stain it then here to here you're gonna make a line for two and a half centimeters yes remember there's one more centimeter two and a half centimeters on the top the next line will be three and a half centimeters and the last one will be four and a half centimeters four and a half there okay remember clean the clean the edge of your ruler so you don't stain the drawing and then turn it here in this position and close the lines using this these two dots these two dots this and this use them to align the ruler and close here a small square then here like this here should be like aligned here and this one the same should be aligned the lines should be straight all right okay before we start coloring use your eraser I'm gonna use my eraser from the pencil or you can use uh, the other eraser so erase these dots erase these dots these dots too erase them like this like this yeah and <coughs> no trash <coughs> next we need to color this this square you need to color it but I suggest that co not not color like this is color by lines it's like follow the line follow another line 
another line, another line, another line, another one, one, two, yeah? Looks better than all the, 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 the lines in this order. So this is one, yes? Here, skip one. This, leave it white and then color the same way. The second line, line by line. Don't go out of the outline like this. Yes, be careful, be patient, and you will get an excellent result. This, like this, like this, like this, like this. Yeah? And then keep doing the same way to color the line. Go straight and cover with black marker so you can have a uniform coloring. Don't miss any white space there. And the last line, do the same. Go straight. Fill with black color. But main lines. Looks better. Color from line to line. This. You see? Patient, be patient. There, there line by line doesn't matter if you're missing some spots on white you can color those spots like me here but I insist don't do this go line by line like a printer line by line up to down down to up there you see all right blow to dry or shake it to dry the marker and then use your ruler in this position and you're gonna mark on the white parts put your, your ruler from this corner to this corner from top to bottom this corner to this corner but you know you you need to make a line here at the middle of this line as a triangle so make a line here and make a line here align them the best you can both is from here to here and from here to here you see line here and line here with the pencil not with the marker one line here one line here. Next, use your pencil not in this position. Use your pencil or you can use it like this because you're only going to color using the edge of the tip of the pencil like this. Soft but not hard. Soft because you're gonna make uh, like a shade, like a shadow from this part, this half Go soft, color softly, all, all the white part, as you can see here, softly with the edge of the tip of the pencil, softly, and you're going to get something like gray color and harder on this corner and harder on the bottom, like this, go harder 
and the same for this one is go soft from the edge cover all this right side of the white part go soft and then harder on the corner harder on the bottom like this and after that you're gonna use your finger to make a dissemination like this push softer not not harder don't push hard soft pushing to make a dissemination and should look like a shadow all right and then as you can see you can put some more pencil so it looks like a shadow it should look like 3d after you finish the project looks like a shadow and here we go yes okay maybe in this as I have my camera in this position maybe you don't notice the special effect but you need to put your your camera when you take the picture for me for 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 the evidence you should place it like this or you should place it as I'm going to show you on class but should look like a hole on the paper okay so this is it you, you should place the picture like this and take the picture from your cell phone from this position position from here to here because this is what we have as perspective from here to that position take the picture here so it looks like there's a hole on your table on the on the white paper okay so this is the project i hope you like it i hope you get it and see you next time so thank you very much